Hi friends, it's Whitney Shattuck from the First Grade Roundup, and this is my Sun, Moon, Stars mini unit. It's um, a Nash, it's a Next Gen Science Standard aligned um, unit for first grade, based on the Next Gen Science Standards for first grade, but it could also be adapted for kinder and second grade. And I wanted to go over the interactive PowerPoints that you'll find in um, this unit. The first interactive PowerPoint that you'll find are the faces of the moon. Um, it's and if you are looking at the PowerPoint in normal view, then you'll see this minus the sample obviously you'll have all the pictures of the moons plus the um, labels for each of them so this would just be for whole group for sequencing the phases of the moon you can just move the moon pictures and the um, labels each you could do this on your smart board um, whole group very easy to do um, that way um, and you can talk about each of those phases. There's also a black line master for independent practice or for if you wanted to do um, it together as a guided instruction activity and then you could as well. There's sequencing cards that we'll take a look at here in just a second that you can laminate and put in stations that also go with this but this is just the um, interactive PowerPoint part of it. Also notice that I've made it a little bit bigger by just by getting rid of the um, slides on the left and the notes um, section in the bottom just so it's a little bit bigger for students. You can also click up here on your tabs. You can click on home again and we'll get rid of that and make it um, even a bigger screen for you. Okay. The next interactive PowerPoint that I have is the um, Sun, Moon, Stars Venn diagram. I love this one because it's got three circles, not just two, so it's a little more higher level thinking than just the two circle Venn diagrams. Um, I have a statement for each um, <clears throat> for each section of this Venn diagram, so it'll be perfect to talk about um, which belongs in which section and the overlapping. So you just read it together. I can make up constellations and move it um, where it belongs um, on the Venn diagram. There's also a black line master on this one for independent practice as well. Okay, These are not as much interactive as they are um, hopefully that's coming up. Is it going to go to slideshow view? Let's see. There we go. Um, as they really are just slides that you'll need the links to. So this is the story of Hercules. I have five um, constellation stories from some of the more well-known constellations. I have Hercules, Draco, Pegasus, Cancer, and Ursa Minor. It um, gives the name of the um, of the constellation, a picture of um, the stars, the star arrangement in the sky, and then it will um, give the story of how Hercules became a constellation. Okay, so it's pretty cool. A little bit of Greek um, mythology um, in with these constellations, which is um, kind of a great literacy connection also. So what's fun about this, what I like to do with this one is um, read the story and then see if the kids can find Hercules in the stars. Okay, and see if they can figure out, oh, this is his arm, this is his body, these are his legs, what is he holding? And then once you've discussed it and they think they have it figured out, then you can click on the reveal the picture link and it will take you um, to the actual picture. So you can talk about, oh, this is actually the club representing the um, club that he's holding in his hand. Um, and this is his kneeling position um, from the story as well. So I have those for all five. Um, they'll be the same um, for each of those. In addition to those interactive PowerPoint slides, I have um, color and black and white anchor chart templates um, that can be used digitally on your smart board or you can print and post um, to make poster size. Some of these, um, like this moon one, I typically use that as the title of the anchor chart and then put large size construction paper underneath it so that you can record and make it life size on your wall. Um, and you can see all of these anchor charts as well as the other activities um, on my blog at the firstgraderoundup.com. Um, I have a blog that um, explains um, how I use all of these in my classroom. Um, 
but I've got a science lab on shadows and the sun, um, writing prompts. These are the sequencing cards that we were talking about earlier with the phases of the moon. And then um, I've got a build your own constellation, um, sort of a STEM connection um, for this unit also. This unit is one of the many units that's found in um, my huge six-week integrated um, science and social studies units. This one is from unit uh, five on cause and effect or weather and um, it's just like I said it's a six-week unit and um, integrated with literacy science and um, some math and phonics in there as well so you can find that at that link also